Hey folks, we're back for day two. Uh, back here in the same spot. Did a little scouting before this and then decided we would come back here. Um, hoping for something decent today. Um, anyhow, this is a reed plate from a later accordion, most likely a honer accordion or similar. And uh, you can tell it's a later date one because it's uh, an individual reed plate for each note, a blow and a draw reed instead of the whole reed plate, which would be a big long thing that most people confuse with harmonicas, which they're not. Um, they're made out of zinc or some sort of lead pewter. All right. Hey everybody, this is uh, Digger Girls Finds, a uh, porcelain marble. And um, what else do we have here? Oh, and a very worn out bone button. An interesting piece there. Wow, that's a very fragile bone button. Um, do you want that back? Yeah. Cool. Hey everybody, I got a big musket ball here. That is a, uh, it's at least a 58 caliber, but I think it's a 69. Yeah, that's a 69. Cool. All right, back at it. Hey folks, you gotta be really perceptive for a little tiny pop of color. I mean, look at that. It's not even hardly visible right there at the end of my finger. But when I bent over halfway, I could see it. That is a trade bead. Little tiny thing. Wow. Little seed bead. Amazing. Cool. Back at it. Well, the digger girl skunking continues. That's some sort of a pendant. It's got a suspension loop. We silvered at one time. I don't see any words on it, but it sure look, looks interesting. That's kind of cool. Neat. All right. Back at it. Well, anytime you dig something that's cast in a half, it's thick cast in a half, and assembled rather than solid cast, that's definitely usually colonial era or pretty early. Some sort of a knob. Some even door handles had uh, knobs like that um, pretty early on. All right, keep going. And Digger Girl just, as my detector falls, Digger Girl just got a uh, flat button here. And uh, yeah, good find. Back at it. This is a cool surface find here. Anybody know what that is? I know what that is. That is a, uh, some people say it's off of a gun or blah 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 or it's off the jaws of a musket or something but those were iron not brass this is a, an ejector knob um, off of a hog scraper style brass candlestick or chamber stick cool deal hey everybody i just dug a spur yep pretty sure man it's got a twisted up neck pretty cool Missing both bootstrap pieces. I'll have to see if it's marked. But um, yeah, I'm missing both strap boxes, but very cool. Awesome mid 1800s relic. All right, keep digging. Hey everybody, got a great seal cuff button. Pretty sure that's the orientation. It's right on top of the ground. All right. I just got half of a Bennington marble. That's what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> Well, here's Digger Girl's find. <laughs> uh, it must be a Bennington marble. That's what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> wow. That's actually one of those multicolored ones, I think. I think if they have like green and brown, that's pretty, that's pretty scarce. Most of them are either brown or blue. But I think if they have like green or blue and brown or green and brown uh, mixed, that's pretty scarce. Really cool. Yeah, great job. Well, Digger Girl just found a giant chunk of lead. That's wild, but that sounded great. And I just got screwed. All right. Well, folks, I think I have another Bennington marble. That's what I'm thinking it is. Oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, it's just a half. Oh, Mr. Plow got it. I'm going to 
plant that so that it grows into a big Benny. Well, I don't know what I just picked up. My hunch is a religious medallion. It's got, um, yeah, it's got a loop on the top. My hunch is a religious medallion. Early 20th century or late 19th century. Check it out when I get home. Well, folks, um, this is kind of interesting. I think that's a little heart-shaped charm of some sort, yeah. Maybe a little locket. Might just be one half, it might be hollow right there. But that's nice and unexpected. Oh, I love metal detecting. <laughs> And a ladies' compact lid. Maybe part of the back side too. I don't know, it's kind of folded up. That's still what I think it is. All right. Well, folks, I don't know what I flopped out here. Oh, you know what? I think that's maybe, oh, yep, it's a, it's a pocket watch, or a wristwatch rather. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> Don't find too many things like that. Looks like it's got a gilded face. Neat. It was in a hole with some iron. Didn't sound real good. Awesome. Enough time. Hello everybody, this is my wife's find. I think that's maybe a uh, Merrill, uh, or Maynard rather. Um, uh, it looks about the right size. Um, cool. It, she says it's, she thinks he's got an iron nail through it. I don't doubt that. That's right kind of weird. Interesting. All right, keep digging. Hey, everybody. I just dug a weedy, but weedies do not get filmed. But I just peeped on that, and that has to be a nickel. It reads right. It's the nickel guessing game. Nickel guessing game. What will you be? A shield or a V? It looks like a V. Yeah, it's a V nickelage. There's the obverse. 190 something. This would be the reverse. Cool. Woo! Well, this is Digger Girl's find, and that is a two piece button. You can see the shank back there. It's all crudded up on the front, but I bet that's probably an Eagle Civil War button, but maybe it'll be something really wild. All right, keep digging. Hey folks, here's a uh, porcelain marble right on top of the ground. Cool. Yep. Old. All right. I love it when Digger Girl hands me a find. Whoa, that's weird. That's a weird size, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a design on it, doesn't it? Looks like an anchor or something. I think we're gonna have to clean that at home. Wow, that could be really cool. Well, I great find. I just got a Civil War bullet here. Pretty positive, yeah. Awesome. If it's a solid base, yep, it's a burn side. Cool, burn side. Awesome. Oops, I dropped it again. Well, folks. This has turned out to be something interesting that she dug. It says machinery hall at the bottom. We haven't fully cleaned it yet, but you can see from the World's Fair in 1893, the machinery hall there. And then this side actually has words on it. Um, and I think it's, uh, um, it's a souvenir token, obviously, but I think it's one of the scarcer ones. So we're gonna see what those words say. Um, pretty cool. So whoever lived here definitely had some money to travel and see some things. Very cool. All right, back at it. Hey folks, don't know if you can see that or not, but that is an IHP. Um, it's already drying out, but, oh yeah, there we go. There's the uh, reverse. Cool. This would be the obverse. Oh, it's cruddy. All right, what is that? That almost looks silver. It rings too low though. What is it? Huh, unknown. It's not silver though. 
That's a tack button, darn. Hey folks, do you see what I see laying right on top? I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the screen. I hope it's silver. It's a religious medallion. Just laying there. It's real thin, it might be silver. Yeah, that's silver all day. Awesome. Found so many of these in this field. Really cool. It's a miraculous medallion, miraculous Mary medallion. See the M with the cross over top. Pretty cool. All right, back at it. That is a broken sugar cane knife. Wow. I'm just, I get overwhelmed when I think about what folks who the folks who held this and used this had to endure. Goodness. Powerful relic. Um, these uh, had hollow handles. And I, didn't, I don't see any that have, uh, that survived that had a wood handle. I think the people just held this open handle here. And then this whole thing was much longer originally with the blade on one side. Wow. Well, that's some sort of a crazy suspender patent. I've never seen that before. You see that loop right there? That would have been for the swinging bar, and then all of this down here just hung down, I guess. I just have no idea what that was for. But pretty weird. Pretty weird. Loop on that side, too. See, the bar would have swiveled in there. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finds wrap-up. Got my finds here on the top, and uh, got some prosser buttons there. I don't know what these things are, but uh, this one's chromed or plated. I think that means that it's probably um, late in the 1800s, early 1900s. Daddy and Baby Bennington, uh, some more marbles. This is definitely a suspender piece. Um, note the two bars there, the two little clips to hold the swiveling bar. It's not something I'm familiar with. It's a very strange, funky patent. This uh, two-piece fireplace poker or similar ejector knob from a from a uh, uh, candlestick, N and W, and big one um, tack buttons from denim. Crappy wheat penny. This beautiful cobalt bead. I've got that uh, accordion reed. The uh, watch face, wrist watch face. The uh, cuff button. Got. Uh, a uh, little heart there, some sort of a pendant or a locket. This is the uh, spur, it's not marked. It's kind of trashed up, but uh, maybe I'll find the bootstrap ends later. Two Civil War bullets. Got this uh, beautiful silver religious medallion here. It's a miraculous medallion, I love that. Then I've got this Saint Anne medallion, which is really kind of cool, definitely old probably 1910 20s one indian head scent and a 1906 v and here are her finds um we've got some prosser buttons and a little d with a iron tongue still intact and the big d um, parasol runner actually that may be a top notch there yep it's a top notch it's a attack button Hinge, little porcelain marble, button face, toe tap, toe tip, bone button, and a little ferrule from a piece of silverware. And on down here, a bead, cuff link, I got a bale seal, and uh, looks like a spencer casing. This oddball bullet, um, two ruined button backs, a uh, uh, one piece button, this awesome brooch. It was plated at one point in time. Really cool. Uh, then we have this Bennington here, and this actually looks more brown and less multicolored. Um, the awesome uh, souvenir from the Machinery Hall um, at the Chicago World's Fair. And this really cool patent for um, patent tag for a saddle tree made by the Buena Vista uh, Saddle. 
company in Buena Vista, Virginia. And here's the patent for that. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.